Hi, I'm Dion. Welcome to my studio. Now, I'm going to be telling you about a really interesting, exciting project that you're going to be part of. So, it's part of a project where we're working with the Bodleian Library and an exhibition that they have on. And we're going to be contributing our thoughts to the content. So, the content is all about the idea of books and gifts and how over the many, 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 many hundreds of years, people have shared stories as a gift. And that might be in the form of a book. It might be in the form of, I'm going to give you some advice, here's a story. Um, and those those stories, it could show that you're sharing knowledge. It could be that you're going, oh, well, I'm ever so rich and here's a very, very fancy, expensive book. <laughs> it could show lots of different things. And that's what's so interesting about it. But that is also what's so beautiful about sharing stories and sharing books is that it passes on history, it passes on knowledge, it passes on pieces of advice. So there's lots of stories throughout the years that give you little nuggets of advice that actually maybe think about this or there's hope in thinking in this way. So we're going to be taking the story that we're focusing on in your lesson and then we're going to be taking objects. So some of those are going to be books and we're going to work over the top. So those objects are there in your classroom for you to choose from. I've got an old book and I'm going to work over the top of my book with ideas that I've taken from the story. So I'm, t I'm kind of reinventing this story into something completely different. So And we are going to be painting and drawing and collaging directly into the books. So here's my book here and I'm going to paint right over the top of that surface. You might like to use paint pens to do this. Like I said, you might like to use collage, but you're reinventing, you're changing the story, you're changing the surface. You might like to cut into it and cut some shapes, but I'm just gonna start off here by showing you. So I'm gonna use some of the existing shapes to draw in some of the elements that I've been inspired by within the story. So I'm just slowly going to work over my pattern and then I'm going to layer over some words and I'm going to think about what I'd like to include and what I feel is really important within that story. And then I think what I'm going to do on the page in front is I'm actually going to cut a hole so you can peek through and see the images that I've created. But it's very much about you being the artist but also the author and reinventing how you would like to see these objects.